plan to stay here for at least another decade. They say the Elder Crossings happen once every ten years, right? We can't really call our investigation complete if we don't stick around to see for ourselves. Pretty sure the First Fleet has the same idea. No Aptanoth either. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. It's gotta be up ahead. Plus, that gives me time to, uh... I've got my own little investigation to do. That's part of why I wanted to come to the New World in the first place. Which reminds me, you never told me what your reason was. Hold on. Looks like we're close. Guess story time will have to wait. Leggy on the tracks here too. Now that everyone's here, let us begin. We have, as such, I've assembled the Fleet Masters, along with the First Fleet Field Team members I've been able to reach. Now, I'm sure that you are all aware by now that Legiana have been leaving the New World in droves, flying far out into the open sea. Director, please take it from here. Gladly, sir. Firstly, as a species, Legiana are not known for long-distance migration, nor for a bat. Why they've begun crossing the ocean is an ecological mystery. Either something has begun to affect the biological nature of the Legiana, or they've been driven out by some change in their habitat, some anomaly that has stimulated them to migrate beyond the sea. Beyond the sea? <laughs> Commander? <laughs> Just some deja vu. <clears throat> 
So, ha! Do you even need to ask? I can tell by that fire in your eyes that your mind's already made up. It's not just you, Commander. I think we've all gotten tired of following the same old routine lately. Good. I hereby declare we focus all available resources on investigating this Legiana issue. Effective immediately. Oh, now we're talking! <laughs> Commander, sir. We were thinking that if we follow the migrating Legiana, we should be able to discover somewhere to land. Like a new island, even. So, we go by ship. Or, better yet... Something a little more... stimulating? Air travel's our specialty, after all. Yes, the Third Fleet's airship would allow us to spot the best landing area, and help us get an idea of the surroundings. That settles it, then. I'll be choosing who to dispatch. But I need you to stay and watch over everyone here. I'll need hands from the Provisions and Technology Divisions. We'll need your help to set up a forward operating base. And you two, tell your fleet to ready themselves. Once your preparations are complete, assemble at the Council table. We may not know what lies out there, but that's no reason to falter. Just like the star-guided youth of legend, we must always press on. Good luck, everyone. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. All right, then. Dismissed.